And this one needs a new tone ring for the right rear wheel sensor. Um, and we were on bumpy roads with it and the rear camera, something's jiggled loose in it. So we've got to repair that. So today it's all about vehicles and getting ready for the winter time. There's your problem. Broken tone ring. And just like any good car repair, you saw me lose a lot of the gear fluid whenever I took out the axle, so I've got to fill it back up. But if you're on these transits, typical on the plate, or the, whatever you want to call it, uh, for the actual differential gear housing, you would have the fill plug over there, but not on the four transits. It's actually in the back, and you don't need any sockets. All you need is a 3 8 inch ratchet. And uh, you can take it right out. And now what I do is I'm gonna fill it as much as I possibly can. And this takes 75, 140. That's what it called for. So we're gonna try and fill this up as much as we can. I'll just try and get in here. All right, hold on, we got some coming out here. Okay, I can't put any more in. It sits right at that level. So I'm gonna put this back in. I didn't film putting it back together because it started running, it got dark, and I just had to get it done. So just reverse everything that we did to get it off. There had to be a lot of work to get done. I had to really concentrate, so it's hard to film. And the tone ring. You can see right there, it is splitting apart. Now what this does, this helps your ABS and you have your brake sensor, your speed sensor in the back, and that's really just a magnet. And it sits right outside of here, so as this spins, it creates a magnetic field and creates, I guess, a DC charge, and it sends it back, and that tells the computer how fast you're going. If this breaks, then your ABS really can't pulsate the brakes and do what it needs to do, and some people just leave it like that, because yeah, 
it was a lot of work, but that's our family van. I have seven kids. I need to make sure we have all safety devices working at all times. So if you're going to have vehicles, you better how to do you better learn how to do the basic stuff on them. And I would consider everything that I did here today pretty basic. I mean, maybe intermediate with the tone ring, but which leads me to my next comment. You need to get out there. You need to learn something. When you make mistakes, you're going to learn from your mistakes. This isn't my first tone ring. I've done the other side as well. And it took me a lot longer the first time I did it, and I learned from that. That's why I had some of the tools already. But I did that one five years ago, so I had to learn a little bit here. But I learned from my mistakes, and I'm passing that on to my kids, to the next generation. If you do the same thing, well, I think we'll all be better for it. I hope that the, you enjoyed it. I hope to see you in the next video. And until next time, my name is Brent. This is Lift Free Until Line. Take care.